What's going on guys, Sync Wavy back again with some more GBO2 and today we're comparing the Mark II with the Zeta Gundam. Why am I doing this? It's because people are talking about the Mark II is better than the Zeta at 600. So the 600 Mark II is better than the Zeta Gundam. Now, I don't know, everyone else watching me is some, like, I'm, I'm looking at the stats of the 550. Why wasn't the 550 better than the Zeta Gundam? Tell me that. that. That's one question I need to ask other people. Hey, why wasn't the 550 better than this? Because if you really look at it, the, the damage increase is nothing. Literally nothing. Look at the level 2 compared to the level 3. 25 extra damage. 2650. 25 extra damage. 5, what, 3%? 3% extra uh, melee strength from the 550 to the 600 3 3% 3 and 25 extra damage on the saber That is nothing bro How 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 so the damage is nothing right the damage increase is nothing the base the base uh, stats Increase is one point and 258 extra HP it doesn't even get a thousand extra HP, it gets 250. The ballistic resistance is 19 from 18. Like, come on, bro. Like, what are, you, like, what are you guys talking about? This suit is basically the 550, it's not. <laughs> There's nothing extra to it, bro. Like, it's literally nothing extra. So, I don't, I don't understand. Like, you know, the Zeta Gundam has way more HP. Has, what? 3 more, 3% 3 extra ballistic and uh, beam resistance. And it has, what, 2, what, 3, 3 points less on the melee resistance. But you know, this suit has biosensor mode, so it would be kind of busted if it had a little bit of higher melee resistance. Like it would have been really, it would have add to the strength of its defenses in biosensor mode. So, I mean, three percent is nothing, bro. Like, let's be realistic, man. Like three percent ain't nothing. But when you, when you, if you take away. Like this is everything on Zeta Gundam is above 20, right? Above 20 is good. Okay, if you get it, if you get like you know the uh, the Mark II has better close quarter stuff. So that damage right there is 9,546. Okay, that's 9,546 9, on those two down swings. Okay, 4,773 damage on per downswing. That's like that's sweet. That's very good, very strong. I don't, I don't, I don't uh, disagree with that. So now I'm using the Zeta on them with base, base melee. Okay, and we're gonna do it staple. Downswing into downswing into downswing. <laughs> 12,820 damage Hello guys have, have I woken you up here? Like Have I opened your eyes to show you that the, Z double, the Zeta Gundam Has more damage output See that two swings is 9,032 9, uh, 9, Dude that's just two swings 9,032 So it's not even far behind The um Mark II's uh, two down swings. It's like 500, 512, 500, 500 odd damage, man. Like, in, like higher. Like, come on, bro. That's not even the Zeta staple. The Zeta staple is the three down swings. So, as you can see, I just went straight out with the damage. Matt, Matt. Pretty much name max damage. That's ten thousand five hundred eighty-four damage. Still can't beat the Zeta's staple. Come on, bro. Like, 
I don't like look it embarrasses like do I need to even go to buy a sense of food? Wait, I'm just gonna show it anyway. That damage was fifteen thousand nine hundred. Okay. It straight up killed the G3. That in biosynthesis mode is 11,202. So, yeah, the damage output is just crazy with the Zeta Gundam. And, you know, like, the reason why I say I'm um, showing this is to prove to you that, you know, the 600 isn't obviously stronger than the Zeta Gundam. The Zeta Gundam has better firepower, better better damage in melee, I'll just prove that to you. <coughs> um, uh, transforms as as a, as the damage uh, up with the transformations. You know, it's extra DPS. It gets you out of sticky situations. It's way more versatile than the Mark II. It's all around, all around. Like, okay, look, check out this here. The the Mark II is like is like Mike Tyson, right? But the Zeta Gundam is like Bruce Lee, okay? Do you, know, you get my get my drift? Bruce Lee was an all round fighter. Like he can do everything, you know. He's quick. He's strong. His movement is he's versatile. He can do a lot of things. He's not one dimensional. He trained in multiple martial arts. That's what Zeta Gundam is. Zeta Gundam's got a long range, he's got a close range, he's fast, he can transform. He does multiple things really good. Okay? Like that that's that's my best analogy for it. Like, the Mark II is basically a brawler up close in your face and he can out melee priority a Zeta Gundam. He doesn't beat a Zeta Gundam all around. Because his Mark II is not all around suit. Zeta Gundam is. And we all, like, yeah, I, I've already proved to you that the Zeta Gundam does more melee damage with base damage <laughs> like with base damage it does more melee damage than the Z and then the Mark II so, so the suit you should have you should be complaining about like I know loads of people complain about the Mark II but the suit that you should be complaining about is the Zeta Gundam but I find that funny that you guys don't see it and I, I'm like the only one that sees how powerful Zeta Gundam is but <laughs> they think melee priority equates to power and that's not the case power is the damage output of the suit not the priority of the melee so but I, 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 I would love to see I would love to see um, you know a Mark II beat out a Zeta Gundam and they're both good players like on top of they're both about the same power strength like in terms of skill like the Zeta has way more strength the Zeta can outrange the Mark II if it wants to not get close and it'll, it can decide when it wants to get close Mark II doesn't have the option Mark II has to get close you know it has to get within range 350 range if I stay a hundred range further than him, he can never hit me with his beam rifle. And I can just keep shooting him, transform, keep him, like, shoot him a bit, and fly away. Right? Fly to the high ground. Get the high ground, Anakin. Then shoot down at him again and do the same thing. I can just stay away from the Mark II. I don't have to get within his strength. This is why Zeta is way more versatile. And even when we get into close range, if I, I like, if I do beat the Mark II to the shot, then the Zeta Gundam is, can do more damage than the the 
the Mark II it is going to do more damage than the Mark II in a single combo against the the Mark II. Like the, I, I've just proven that, you know. And don't and don't even get me started when it gets into bias and some of like. I don't know, man. Like, I just like find it funny when people say something, and it is like it's it's strictly their opinion, and but they make it out to be the facts. And my my opinion wasn't an opinion; it was the facts. Like, I don't I didn't say the Zeta Gundam is the best because it's my favorite suit. I said the Zeta Gundam is the best because that's the that's what it is. It's it's the facts. It does more power. It has more power. It has more fire. It has more firepower. It does more melee damage. Transforms. It's more versatile. It gets itself out of sticky situations. Right. It has. It's better. In all of the categories apart from melee resistance and melee strength. Okay, that's it. This is this suit is technically more tankier all around. The all around stats, this Zeta is tankier than the Mark II. Facts. That's not an opinion. That's a fact. You know? Zeta has more range, you know. Those are facts. <laughs> like I've literally said, everything that I say about the Zeta Gundam is not an opinion; it's facts, right? When it comes to, if you now, when you like, when it comes to suits like DJ versus the Mark II, who do you think is better? Yeah, because the DG is way more versatile than the Mark II. If you really think about it, uh, two two may uh, two uh, shooting weapons, you know, beam rifle and the shrapnel bazooka. Um, it's got maneuver armor, so it can abuse. Uh, you know, the maneuver in between the shots that it does is a it can't get stunned. Like the shrapnel bazooka, that one weapon is so versatile in what it does. Takes out uh, transformable suits, you know, anything in the sky takes out, stops maneuver armor suits from actually using their maneuver armor. So, super more, like, that, that alone is, is way more versatile than what the Mark II can do. The Mark II is just pure damage house. That's, it's not a versatile in per se, you know what I mean? So that's the kind of the same concept I have with the Zeta Gun. The Zeta Gun is just way more versatile. And the fact that if you look at my top ten list on, on of 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 suits, they're they're pretty much five fifty and up. You got some five hundred costs in there in my top ten. But they're like the best of the best of their category, you know? And you see those suits the most and that's basically what my top 10 is about like you can have say you know we got, I got stamen below the mark mark 3 the stamen well I feel like that's pretty clear that it is stronger than the mark uh, the stamen but the, you, someone could say the stamen is better than the mark 3 and that's cool because every suit in the top 10 is top tier that's my whole point you know that is the whole point it doesn't matter what 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 they where they are, second place, third place, they're the top ten suits of GBO before the anniversary. So after the anniversary, we'll see who's still in the top ten. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. God bless.